Now, what this all boils down to, what you're seeing here, the anger that these protesters have stems from a grand jury's decision in Missouri not to indict a white police officer after he shot and killed an unarmed black teenager. Now, the what was going on around that, the idea behind that, is, is kind of blurry with these folks. They think that this, this teenager was you know, completely innocent and was murdered in cold blood. Um, that is going against what the politicians and many of the police officers, of course, are saying. But um, that's where their anger stems from. I want to bring in uh, a neighbor out here. His name is Nick Sorokin. Nick, would you come over here? Yes. You live in this neighborhood, yes. and you've been seeing these protests unfold over the past few days. What's Correct. your take on all of this? My take is um, I, I have a message for the mayor. Mm -hmm. You know, Mayor Gossetti and Chief Beck need to start taking these, these demonstrators and their activities seriously because these are agitators and their aim, their aim is to create chaos and anarchy on the streets of Los Angeles. So I hope that this will stop very soon and there will be a return to a normal order of life because the civil liberties, the freedom to move of all people are being violated by these street thugs. Many of them are leftist agitators and there should people should not be allowed to control and dominate the streets of LA the way they're do, doing now. So I hope Garcetti and Beck take my my concern seriously and put an end to this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So is what you're saying, Nick, is that you think police who are leaning with these protesters and their rights and not respecting your rights as a citizen. Exactly. And, you know, and there are rules, there are laws in the books on demonstration. You get a permit and you demonstrate in such a way where you don't violate other people's rights. And it seems the mayor and Chief Beck forgot that. It seems like, you, as you pointed out, the only important thing is the right of these agitators. Many of them are left-wing extremists. What about all the other people? You know, so we have, a, we have a real big problem here, and it needs to stop because it feeds on itself. The, the fact is that if, if they are treated lightly, then they're just going to accelerate their behavior in the future and make things worse for everybody. Oh, and that is a good point, you know, Micah and Courtney, because as I was saying in the past couple nights as we come back out here to me, you know, we have seen around 330 of these people arrested, and as soon as they're arrested, you know, they were arrested the night before Thanksgiving. Chief Charlie Beck of the LAPD, he released all of them back out, just gave them a, a court date to come back. Otherwise, they really, in most normal situations, would have had to spend the whole weekend in jail. So we're going to stay out here for everybody and keep an eye on the situation, and we will bring you more coming up at 630. But that's the latest from now in Los Angeles. I'll send it back to you guys.